YouTube, this is Dutch Bush of Nice, and today I want to do a kind of test of the new trend called the lazy bag and see if this fits uh, our bushcraft purpose or if this just is a uh, beach slash back garden tool or item. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what this lazy bag is all about. So the lazy bag comes in its own pouch, it's very light, so very, very easy to take with you and small enough to put in a larger backpack. So at 1100 grams, 1.1 kilogram, it's not full uh, as light as backpackers would like it to be, but um, it's still not too heavy to carry with you. So for a short bushcraft trip, it's light enough. Comes with a very sturdy clip. And here it is, the lazy bag. All right, now comes the part where we have to uh, get air inside. And that is the most tricky part because uh, in the forest, there's little wind, so. All right, so a little bit of running. And now when we have the air inside, you just roll this as much as you can, like five times will probably safely be safe. And then clip the clips together and you're good to go. I think it would be a lot more easy to convince your wife or girlfriend to come with you camping or bushcrafting if you take the lazy bag with you because I'm sure they will love it. So is this lazy bag actually uh, suitable for bushcraft? Well I think it's, it depends on the situation you're in. Um, if you're going to do bushcraft on a grass field or whatever, it would be very suitable in my opinion or uh, on the beach, stuff like that, it would be very suitable. But um, if you're going to a mountainous terrain or a forest, I would be very careful with this thing because I do think it's made out of ripstop or something like that because it has all the squares. But um, yeah, it's I wouldn't trust this thing on uh, sharp edges from stones and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, it depends on the situation. But overall, as uh, what it is, uh, a Thing to chill out on on the beach or on your in your back garden whatever it is it is a, it is a great thing um, it's really comfortable even more comfortable than I would have imagined um, there are some things I have noticed about this thing uh, this thing is actually a very large kind of watertight bag where you put your electronics in when you're going canoeing or whatever uh, it works the same by twisting the the opening and uh, clipping it together. But um, yeah, it is pretty hard to uh, um, make this thing completely airtight. So um, I've had a few times that uh, it actually emptied itself uh, over half an hour or whatever. But um, after some tries, you will get it almost completely airtight. I don't know if you can get it completely airtight. So is it suitable to sleep on uh, for a whole night? I don't think so but it is suitable to take a power nap on. I will show you, uh, it is not completely airtight right now. As you can see, I have sunken a bit far, further in this, uh, in the lazy bag, and I will show you how I make mine um, airtight most of the times. So, as you can see, some, something went out of it, and when it's emptied a little bit, you can twist it a bit more. So, what I do, is this to even out the the uh, foldings that are inside the plastic inside this and I twist it again and try to have this as straight as possible twist it again and again clip this together and as you can see uh, the lazy bag is 
hard again. I won't sink in as far this time. Alright, you can find this lazy bag at gearbest.com for a very good price of around 30 to 35 dollars. And that really isn't much if you compare it to the uh, other lazy bags you can find on the internet who go for about uh, 80 to up to 200 euros each or 200 dollars each. And um, yeah, this one it uh, might be kind of hard sometimes to make it completely airtight, but with a little bit of effort, you can really have a comfortable, uh, nice garden, beach semi bushcraft a relaxing lazy bag for a very small price so yeah I do recommend this if you have the the right purpose for it so yeah people I hope you like this video maybe not as bushcrafty as uh, as my regular videos but um, yeah I really wanted to try out this lazy bag and see if this might be suitable for bushcraft so is it suitable for bushcraft depends on the situation I'm going to enjoy this right now. I'm gonna lie down and uh, chill a bit. It's very hot. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe.